what's up guys war here welcome back to the channel so today we had a big big problem here uh we had a big announcement here from path of exile and the post path of exile deployed a patch where it uh nerfed the entire comet build um excuse me wrong thing it nerfed the comet build for sorceress and we are doomed they posted about this um an upcoming hotfix and all this stuff that happened and if you're like me then you invested all of your money and you're down to absolutely nothing uh and i was playing comet which was super strong but if you were playing that i have the answer for you and i have something that you can transition over although it is going to cost you a little bit of money to respect so if you haven't then you're kind of stuck in the mud but if you got some gold then you're going to go ahead and respect what we have here is just a combination of fire and ice again we're going to be doing frost wall and fireball Okay, so I do want to give a big shout out uh, to uh, Ray's in my community and then Gothra, Gorathas, Gorathas. Uh, so it's a witch, but we're using Fireball, but instead we're doing this on Sorcerer. And uh, I know everybody's first instinct was to go into crit, like a crit based build of Comet, but they did do a hot fix, like, I don't know, 30 minutes after they posted the patch that nerfed comet altogether but sorceresses don't you worry i got you covered man this is going to be one way um that you can kind of transition over and still use your cold stuff okay so this build is very simple we are going to be rocking frost wall into fireball and that is what we're doing that is what we're going to be doing okay so i'm going to go into the passive tree really quick just to show you guys what we have here this is a crit based build. Okay, we are doing crit because after the initial nerf of comment, I was like, okay, there is cast on crit. So how do I, let me go back to town so I don't get randomly killed. Like how do I still be able to cast comment even though it changed? Well, the nerf was too big. We're not gonna be able to do that. So I was already in the process of moving over to crit on everything. Um, and instead we went with fireball, shout out to raise again in my community. Big shout out to him. So this is a crit based build. Okay, now because I'm a sorceress and a chronomancer, my ascendancies are gonna change. So I no longer need circular heartbeat. Um, I'll probably go back to quicken hourglass and just use that with apex of the moment for now until I can go get my third ascendancy. But this is a crit based build. You can see that the tree is relatively close to what we were doing on Comet, except for now we're just gonna be doing uh, you know, all critical. So we got rid of all of the you know, energy stuff. We no longer need that. And we just spec into some crit like careful assassin. We also spec in and grabbed arcane intensity. Uh, we came down here and grabbed a uh, true strike for more crit chance. We came down over here and we got critical exploit for more crit chance. We took the crit crit chance stuff here in the middle. Um, and then I took these notes here for dampening shield as well as insightfulness and melding for increased maximum energy shield. So that way I got a thousand shield on top of my you know, 1150 life. That makes my survivability pretty solid right now on an ES base. Um, uh, but what I will do is I think I'm going to move these nodes here and kind of change them out and just get some more traditional crit that's closer. Uh, but for now, this works really, really well. All of your frost nodes can stay the same and you're good to go. I might just invest in some more defenses, um, but there's some really good crit nodes here. So we went into crit. I'm going to try to have this on here and just leave this here for you guys. Uh, I'll try to get the build guide up in the morning for you and put this on there, but I'm just making this. It's like 2.30 in the morning, so I've been struggling all night trying to change out how this build works. Now, as far as our gear, there's a few key pieces that you're going to need. Two of them, One of them is going to be your staff. You're going to need to change your staff to plus to level of all spell skills. The reason for this is because we're doing fireball, which is fire damage, and I know we're still specced into some cold, and where that comes in is, is with these blue flame bracers, okay? 100% of our fire damage is converted to cold damage, but do not mistake that with a uh, equipment piece that gives plus level to all cold spells. Fireball is not a cold spell. We're just transferring the, the damage over to cold, so we have plus to all level of spill uh, spell skills and we got increased critical chance for spells i wish that was higher but it is what it is spell damage is probably your next big one damage is extra fire is phenomenal and then i have increased the cast speed because uh fireball is really slow cast timer 
Um, outside of that, we went for a straight EA base. We're just going all EA, just max life resistances on all of the gear pieces. Um, my chest piece is pretty solid, except for the thorns. My helmet is pretty good with the increased critical strike or critical hit chance. Um, and then as far as my amulets, we got the plus 40 spirit here. Um, and we're going to go into uh, prismatic for even more res and more fire damage and increase to rarity items found. Same thing over here. We're doing more cold damage and increase rarity strength and fire res. So the gear is pretty solid. It's not the best. Obviously, I'm just in early maps. I'm doing T3 maps, tier ones, tier twos, and tier threes. Um, but let's get over to the skills and then we'll go play the build and, and show you how it is. So you only need three skills for this build. This is literally a one button build. Mainly, you're just gonna be casting fireball. Okay, you're just gonna be casting fireball, super strong. But what makes it super good is because with firewall, or a frost wall when you crack this it just makes so many more so using frost wall on top of fireball is just an insane combo just like it is with flame wall and spark so this is just going to be a combo right you can do just one button with fireball but if you combine it with frost wall it's very very strong and i mean frost wall is great because you get the freeze you can block enemies off and then you just destroy them now one thing i will say is that you do need to make sure that you when you cast fireball that you are one shotting the um ice walls okay so make sure you do that you can get this in the tree okay you can come up here to get a uh, shattered uh crystal for 60 percent reduced crystal life and then also on your frost wall you can get icicle for even more or less life so that way you can just blast right through it so let's get into the support gems so that way you guys have this i don't want this build video to be too long because it is going to be changing um, uh, just because I need to rack up gold and I want to have the passive tree as best it can be for you guys. So, but right now I'm just giving you a baseline of what you can change to very quickly. Um, if you have some gold and you have some, uh, gems and stuff that you can switch to. So we got fireball here. We're going to be putting in scatter shot, which gives us two more projectiles. It does give us less cast attack and cast speed, but more projectiles is what we want because we want to deal as much damage as possible. Um, then we're going into Unleash. Now, I'm back and forth on Unleash. I keep going back and forth between this and Arcane Tempo for more cast speed. So Unleash is the best one you can put here or one of them because it's going to give you more fireballs and more damage. Okay, um, so more fireballs equals more damage, even though the 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 reoccurrings are going to be dealing less damage, but we have more fireball. It just works better for us. Um, however, it does drain a lot of our mana. So if you do have any kind of mana issues whatsoever, then I definitely suggest swapping in Arcane Tempo. You're going to deal just a little bit less damage. The cast speed is going to feel really good, but you know, you won't have any mana issues. If I swap this in and then I'm just casting, you see that like with my mana regen, I'm just spamming and it's going to take a while before my mana actually goes down. But if we go in and swap in Unleash, you can see that the extra recurrings are going to cast. And you see how much faster my mana drains than it did before. But Unleashed for the damage increase is just worth it. Last but not least, we're doing Wild Shards. And this is the chance for uh, the Fireball to split and gain eight more additional. So you, when you see me kind of fill up the screen here, we just got to get it to proc. Yeah, this gives us all the eight and it's just insane, right? All right, so on the Frost Wall, we got um, Icicle, so less life. Then we're doing Spell Cascade, which is going to give us um, a bigger range of icicles. That would So basically what this means is that we can shoot more at the fire, uh, frost walls. It just gives us more frost walls to shoot our fireballs at um, to deal even more damage and apply that combo. And on top of that, it can help us you know, wall off enemies. just makes it really good for our survivability. Next, we got Concentrated Effect, which gives us even more area damage, but that doesn't really matter. Um, but I mean, it does, but less area of effect. So concentrated effect is, is pretty dang good. Um, I will say it's pretty nasty. Um, it just, it just feels really, really good. Uh, last but not least we're doing, or maybe not last but not least. Um, but we got, as far as skills go, we got frost bomb. This is a big damage dealer. So we got fast forward. This is just going to give us a 30% less skill duration. So what this does is it changes this from a like five second explosion to three seconds, which is really nice. Then we got cold mastery for plus one to cold, although you could change this. And then I'm doing a strip away. So it has an increased effect for exposure, which is really nice. This is great against bosses and elites and uh, just kind of 
blocking off or freezing a bunch of enemies really quickly. Very, very strong. Now, the two auras that I have here to kind of put into our spirit, these are just... Um, one is Blink. I really like Blink because Blink just replaces your roll. It allows you to just uh, Blink away. It's about a two-second cooldown um, with the, the stuff that I have on it. So you get 30% uh, increased mana regeneration while the supportive skill is active with Clarity, which is great. This helps us especially with uh, doing our Unleash here. And then um, Ingenuity is going to increase our cooldown recovery rate of this skill. That turns it um, from a three, almost four second cooldown to like two. It makes it feel really good. So when you when you do, bang, it's like one, two, like bang. Maybe it's a three second um, cooldown. Maybe it's like three or just, just, just under three perhaps. But Blink's really cool. And then the last one that I have is Blasphemy here. Um, you socket a curse skill and it gives an aura around you. So what I decided to socket was hypothermia. This is just testing. I may just take this out altogether. But I have all this spirit and I want to put something in there since we can't do comet. So this is just a curse that gives cold resistance. All of our damage is cold. So it allows us just to de just be able to deal more damage to our enemies. And then, of course, magnified effect, which gives the aura 40% more area of effect. So this is kind of what I've been doing, guys. It's pretty straightforward. You're just going to be spamming fireball. Um, and it just it just feels really, really good. Uh, and I know I'm with you guys. Like, I have been struggling to kind of figure out something to swap over to, which is really tough. And I know that GGG just kind of nerfs stuff right away that seems too strong and all that and it kind of sucks i you know if i would have paid attention to their twitter this happened like 15 hours ago so if i would have been paying attention i wouldn't have spent two hundred twenty thousand respecking um into my like comment and now it's gone right so all right just to showcase the build a little bit let's go ahead and take down some enemies pretty straightforward you can just cast it and you're just going to smoke through and just shatter everything right it's really good just shatter. The clear speed is not as good as Comet, but it is very visually nice. There's just so many fireballs on the screen. I mean, you can see that like I ran out of mana because I'm not using my flask, which is great. Um, and I kind of want to showcase the difference here. So um, just to kind of showcase the difference. Oh, let's not get poisoned here. You can see that it's really nice, right? So then if we go in and we just swap out these two. Yeah, we lose a little bit of damage, again, because you're not casting as many fireballs, right? But you can see that, like, my mana just doesn't go away. And we still clear pretty good. Like, we still clear pretty good. We get, you know, just a little bit less uh, fireballs. And it feels slightly worse, but it, it's pretty, pretty solid. I mean, you're just, you're just spamming fireball, and it's great, right? Cold exposure... Frost Bomb actually deals a great, like, a lot of damage. Kind of clears up some mobs, too. All right, sweet. Now you guys can see it, like, on an elite, which is great. Kind of wall him wall him off. And this is without the Magnified. Just to kind of showcase. And then he's just dead. So, like, the clear speed is, like, more than fine. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, it's not going to be as like good as Comet, but it's still really, really solid. And it is a great swap over if you guys are kind of stuck in there. Like, and we got the trigger there. That's so crazy. Like, it does, it does a good deal of damage, which I think is great. And then you combine it with the with the frost wall, and you're just chilling. Shoot these things through. Destroys everything. It's so nice. You just blow stuff up. So the clear speed is not bad at all. It's a great combination. Again, like I said, guys, it's very easy to kind of spec into because if you're playing Sorceress and whether you're a Stormweaver or, or Chiromancer, you should have a lot of the nodes already um, from being in cold already. So this is just very, very easy. And you could just you could just clear the map, man. You can just clear it. I really like it. And visually it's appealing. If you don't like a lot of stuff on the screen, then it it's probably gonna be, you know, too much. But 
It is pretty, it's pretty dang cool, I will say. It's really nice. So, guys, this is what I've been doing. Um, I'm still respecting some of this, so I'll try to get this out as far as the written guide as fast as I can. Um, I want to go kill this elite one more time for you guys so you guys can see. But, uh, yeah, man, if you guys are playing Sorceress, like I know Sorceress is kind of chalk. Uh, Boiler has a really good lightning build if you want to check out lightning. That seems really cool. And you can see the like little aura that I put on the enemies when they try to charge me. Um, now, I will say, switching to a crit build, one last thing before we get off this video. Is that if you don't have a lot of shield, I recommend trying to get at least 1,000 ES. Um, and 1,000 like life just, to, just for survivability. Because... You know, if you don't have that in the early, like, like early when I was switching, I just kind of died a bunch. And it was just, it was kind of frustrating to be like dying so much. But, uh, this blue guy needs to go away. So try to get the survivability up and then you'll be fine. If you can do that, then you'll be just, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. This build is pretty fun. It's pretty fun. I need to recharge my shield uh, before taking this guy on. Or at least try to. The poison guys, these stupid little dudes are annoying. You can see me just absolutely destroy the elite. It's so good. So good. But yeah, guys, this is what I've been playing. So hopefully this will help you guys out um, when you're swapping over. Otherwise, the next best thing is to switch to you know, Ranger, <laughs> and then that build will get nerfed too. So hopefully that doesn't happen, man. But yeah, this is where we're at, guys. So like the video, comment down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I will definitely try to answer the, to the best of my ability. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.